Hello guys, you are welcome to my RA Mathematics and Physics class. In this video, we will be treating how to find the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. The determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. So, a matrix is 2x2 two two when the number of row is 2 and the number of column is 2. So now, for example, when we have a matrix A, A, B, C, D. So, and we are asked, like, this is a matrix. So we are, to, we are asked to find this. This sign here, this straight line here, means what determinant. So the determinant of this will not be what. So to get the determinant, what A, B, C, D is what. You first multiply the leading diagonal and you subtract it from the other diagonal here. So that will be what? A multiplied by D. A D minus what? C B. So that's the determinant of what? A. That's just how to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. You can apply this anywhere to find 2 by 2 matrix. So let's take example. So the example is find the determinant of this this sign is what determinant so to get this is just 5 multiplied by 4 minus 3 multiplied by 2 so 5 times 4 that's 20 minus 3 times 2 is 6 now 20 minus 6 we have 14 so 14 is the determinant of this so that's just it so now i will be moving to another example example 2 so the example 2 this this is a utm question a jump question 2014 number 3 so how do you find this this is actually simple so what you just do is multiply this by this that's what 5 minus x times what 4 minus minus 1 times 12 we have what minus 4x minus into back of minus 12 all equals to this minus 12 minus 12 right so we now have minus 4x Minus times this, we have plus 12 because minus 12. So minus 4x will now be equal to minus 12. This coming to this place will be negative minus 12. So we now have minus 4x will now be equal to minus 24. So dividing both sides by minus 4, minus 4. So our x, our x will now be what? Plus 6 minus divided by 6. The answer is what? Option A. So that's just it. So example three, solve the pair of equation. So this are the equation, the first one, the second one. So now this is determinant. So we express this determinant and we get one equation because of this. So let's do it. x times this we have what two x. Minus three we have minus minus three times this minus three y. All equals to eight. For the first one. And this will give us 2x plus 3y equals 8. Let's call this equation 1. So for the second one, it will be 2x squared minus into bracket minus 3y squared minus 3y squared equals 7xy. Then I have 2x squared plus 3y squared equals 7xy. So this is our equation 2. So solving equation 1 and 2 simultaneously, we can solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously to get the value of what x and y. So now from equation 1, making s solve the formula, our s will now be equal to what? 8. This minus this 3 will come to this way, it will be minus 3y. So we have 2 x having divided both sides by 2. So our this is our x. So now any place in the just pick one equation. No, we substitute the value of this into another equation. Let me pick into into equation two. So substituting x into equation two, and this is our equation two now. So we now have what? two into bracket was our x eight minus three y all over two. Close bracket plus 3y square equals 7 into bracket 
8 minus 3 y over 2 close bracket we have what y so we can expand by saying 2 times this we have 16 minus what 6 y over 2 plus 3 y square because 7 times this 7 y 7 y times this we have what um, 7 times 8 we actually have 56 y 56y minus 7y times this we have that's 21y all over 2 right so now we can find the same here or we multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 2 so we have what 16 multiplying this by 2 these two will cancel this and this one by 2 we have what 16 minus 6y plus what 6y square everything over what so no we find the SMD yes we find the SMD so finding the SM how how we do what over 2 so the SM over 2 2 into we have one one times this we have this so one this having a denominator of one so one into two two times this we have what six y squared so equals what fifty six y minus twenty one y all over two so these two can cancel these two so from this place we can collect like times this one should be y square yes square so we can collect like times from this Please. So collecting like that, we have what? Um, six y square minus. No, I think this should be y not square, and this should be square. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is correct. Like this, so we now have what? Six y square. This comes to this place plus twenty one y square plus I mean minus six y. This comes to minus 56 y and we have our plus 16 all equal to what, 0. So this thing will be leading us to what a quadratic equation. So we have what, 27 y square minus 6 minus this. We have what minus 62 y 62 y plus 16. So we solve this quadratically, we get to an answer for y. So after getting to an answer for y, we substitute the value here to get x also. So we can solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus square root of what b squared minus 4ac all over 2b. So from this place, our a is what? 27 our b is minus 62 and our c is what 16 so now we can solve using the quadratic formula so in certain the value minus b what is our b minus 6 and minus into bracket minus 62 plus bracket plus or minus square root of what minus 62 all square minus 4 times what a is 27 times root C 16 everything about 2 times what 2 times A 27 so now we now have what 62 understand so understand minus half plus plus or minus square root of minus 62 square we have 3 times 844 3844 minus 4 times 27 times 16 we have 1728 1, 7, 2, 8. over 2 times this we have 54 so now we now have 62 plus or minus square root of this minus this 2811 minus 1721 have 216 square root of 2116 
So, square root of 211 is 154. We now have the square root of this is 46. We now have 62 plus or minus 46 over what? 54. So, we are getting the value of y now. So, here we now have what? 62 plus 46 over 54 or 62 minus 46 over 54 so 52 plus 46 over 54 we have 2 so y equals to 2 or so when we subtract this divided by this we have 62 62 minus 46 divided by 54 we have 8 over 27 8 over 27 8 over 27 so we've gotten the value of our y so now we are asked that it means what x so the, to get the value of x just recall this place where we make x the top of the that would x will now be equal to what 8 when what y is 2 so let's get x when y is 2 and it will now be 3 in the back of 2 over 2 so x will now be equal to what 8 minus 6 over 2. So x will now be 8 minus 6, that's 2 over 2, that's what? 1. So we've gotten it like that. So now we'll now find, so when y is 2, x is what? 1. So now let's find when y is 8 over 27. We should get when y is 8 over 27. So when y is what? When y is what? 8 over what? 27. We substitute now what? 8 minus 3 multiplied by what's our y 8 over 27 divided by what 2 right so we now have 8 minus 3 we have what 8 over 9 times what 1 over 2 times 9 times 1 over 2 like this yes so from this place you can find the same of this we have 72 minus 8 over what 9 times 1 over 2. So 72 minus 8, 72 minus 8, we have 64. So we now have what 64 over 9 times 1 over 2. So of this 64 over 9 times 1 over 2. Then I have 2 here, what one? 2 and 64, that's 32. So we now have 32 over 9. So our answer, so we now have x equal to what? When x equal to what is the first value we got? I don't know when x equal to, when y equals to 2, x equal to what? 1. So when y equals to what? 8 over, 9, 8 over 27 y equals to 32 over 9 so these are the answers so we can check if we are correct by substituting this value into x and y so when x is what 1 we put it when y is 2 we put it there so when we find the determinant if we get it that means we are correct so you can try this you will see we get this back Thanks for watching. Please click on the subscribe button below to get more notifications when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.